first of all, where do you think he's best suited? Could he make a career of it in Spain or do you think he should be thinking more about the Premier League? I think he can play anywhere. But if I'm Bellingham, would you not rather try the Premier League still 19 mm-hmm. and then, you know, you go to Real Madrid afterwards? Because that's what I think Haaland would be looking to do. You know, have a taste of the Premier League, stay three, four years. You can nowadays agents can negotiate contracts where they can put in, you know, maybe a release clause mm-hmm. to allow you to leave for not a silly amount. So if I was him, I would um, probably choose Manchester City or Liverpool and then do four years there and then 23, 24, you go to your Real Madrid as well. But who's going to turn down Real Madrid? You know, no one is. And I think he'd fit in perfectly to that midfield. Financially, you, you're still going to earn. It- the same in the Premier yeah. League that you probably would at Real Madrid, I'm sure, mm-hmm. um, with City or, or wherever it's going to be. But I, I, I just, I, I don't know why he wants to go to Real. I know, look, Real Madrid are a, a massive club in the world, one of the biggest. But the competitive league is sorely the Premier League, isn't it? You know, this is what the Super League was all about because Real Madrid and Barcelona, they, they, no one was watching the Liga. Yeah. You know, everybody wanted Man City, Liverpool into that Super League because they're the ones who attract... It's the, the, history, the, though, isn't it? the history of Real Madrid, you reckon, that is, it, it's a hard one to turn out. If you know Real Madrid are in for you, I think a lot of players would still choose Real Madrid. Like you said, the money's going to be similar and iconic club, isn't it? Well, they are European royalty, mm. aren't they, really, when you think mm. about everything they've achieved. But um, I, I would say come to the Premier League first and you can still get that move to Real I'd Madrid. I'd love to see him in the Premier League. I, I think he'd be brilliant. And what he's achieved so far in his career, I mean, he's played 117 league games already. Wow. <laughs> he's, he's he's wow. 22 caps for England already. Yeah. It's amazing. That, you know, what, what, Liverpool Liverpool need him though. Like, Desperately need him. They, they need him in January for me. I don't think they can even wait until the summer. I feel that if they miss out on Bellingham, you know, it's going to be a major blow to Liverpool. Well, it's all about, for me, the, the midfielders who are going to be really moving on this summer, Declan Rice. Uh, I think West Ham fans probably understand that he will move on sooner or later. Um, and Bellingham. So they're, they're the big, where do they go? You know, where does Declan Rice go? Does he go Chelsea? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So obviously Chelsea's been linked, but every single club in the top end of the table would want Declan Rice as well. If Liverpool could go out and break the bank and buy both of them, then, you know... They'd... He's just in such a good position, though, isn't he, Bellingham? Because if you're his agent, you can... Nowadays, they can make these contracts Surely to suit the it... player. You well, know, Doc... they can say, like, you know what, you can, you, um, it's going to cost £100 million, but it's a £120 million release clause in there for mm. him so that in four years' time, he can move for I'm that sure amount of five years. Has he got a release clause in his Dortmund contract? I'm not I'm sure not, he no, has. I don't think he has. No. Not, not the same as Haaland. Well, he's Haaland, gone up. He's, obviously, he's gone up. Even more now. Dortmund are laughing, aren't you? Oh, Dortmund have, have won a lot. They, they can't believe it. They go, <laughs> we just bought this young stuff from Birmingham City. And they're, they are potentially, they could get 100 plus million, maybe maybe. Can't be, but he's definitely 100 plus. It'd be a lot what, of add-ons. What, how something. much are you thinking then? What's I think, I mean, you know, it is, um, Natalie, it's his age. That mm-hmm. makes the price go up. When you're 19 and everyone can see the potential, he's playing in the World Cup and he's England's best player, arguably. I think you're talking like 150s for Bellingham yeah. because of the, the aid at 19. He's got so much more football to play. You said Liverpool need him, but Manchester City are also in the hunt. We know that he had a great relationship yeah. with Erling Haaland when they were at Borussia Dortmund. If those two are the ones that are going to compete, do you think who do you think he could end up going to? I just think Manchester City will go for Bellingham because you look at Gundogan, he's done outstanding for Manchester City, but he's in his 30s now. Bernardo Silva's made it clear he wants to go to Barcelona. So you've got maybe two players where you might end up moving on in the summer. So Bellingham would fit perfect, perfectly into that midfield. And I can't see the financial, financial power of Manchester City allowing him to go to Liverpool. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Liverpool need him though. Cater always injured. Chamberlain injured a lot. Fabinho, you know, no legs, can't get the ball back. So you've got Henderson and um, Thiago. Uh, Thiago, yeah, Thiago, Thiago in the midfield. Days. So they, I think Liverpool need him more than Manchester City. But if you're going to choose out the both clubs, I think you're choosing Pep Guardiola as a player. Why? Why are you saying that? I just think like what he's done with that um, Manchester City side, what he's done at Bayern Munich, Barcelona, and you just know the stylish football you're going to play there. Don't get me wrong, I do like watching Liverpool. You know, they're, very, they're direct, get the ball into the attackers. But I just feel like he'll be speaking to, you know, Calvin Phillips, Grealish, Stones, Walker, as he'll be speaking to Henderson and um, Trent. But I don't know if I was in his shoes, I would choose Manchester City. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, it's fascinating to see how it's going to pan out mm. for him. He, I mean, in a way, when you think about it, with his because it was his, I think his, he moved to Germany with his father, didn't he? And it was all about picking the right club at that time to mould him. And he's done so brilliantly in Germany, and and so and at such a young age as well. It's a brave decision. Gone. Yeah. Imagine yeah. his agent like coming to see him and saying like, "All right, then we've got this club: Real Madrid, <laughs> Manchester City, Choices. Liverpool. Which one do you want? Yeah. Just do a sweepstake. Yeah, you? just pull it. Put 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 some names in a hat and just like <laughs> pick one out. All right, I'll go there. No problem." Because they're all just massive clubs, exactly. aren't they? And the thing with with Real Madrid, I understand that you're saying maybe wait, it will come. That yeah. that move could come, um, and who knows, he might end up going with the likes of Erling Haaland, for example. Exactly, exactly. But they are looking to rebuild their midfield. We know that Luka Modric, even though he's evergreen and just plays effortless, effortless. I can't say the word. I can't even say yeah, it. Effortlessly. Well, <laughs> I can't say it. You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, he was brilliant for Croatia, wasn't he? But he's probably coming to the end. They don't know what's happening with Tony, Tony Cruz. Cruz. Yeah, yeah exactly. Well. But they are trying to build around Camavinga, Chouameni and uh, Valverde as well. So to be a part of that would be quite fascinating, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's, just, it's hard to turn down, isn't it? You know, if his, his agent says to him, Real Madrid want you and you're going to be um, influential in that midfield, you know, you're starting... How can you turn that down? Manchester City and Liverpool, very tempting, but just think he's, he's he's been out of the country as well, you know, he's gone to play in Germany at Dortmund. He's not going to be um, bothered about going to Spain and, and yeah. starting a new life there. I think it's a hard one to turn down. Yeah. Well, one to monitor. Where will Jude Bellingham end up? It, Real Madrid think they can get him in the summer, but you're saying, uh, Gabby, there, Liverpool need to go for him need now. Him, Liverpool need a midfielder now. Now. Yeah, right. for me, their midfield, it's... Just Fabinho, you know, didn't didn't play at all in the World Cup. You know, the reason why he didn't play. Thiago, I do like. Henderson had a good World Cup, but I just think they need a bit of help in there, Liverpool. Yeah. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.